I wish to express uh, my condolences at the sad death of Kay Arlich as well. Um, there will be a price to pay in terms of mental health, economic well-being, health services, inequality and the loss of education. Uh, but I agree that the evidence supports the return of stricter measures. It would be a tragedy if the NHS was to be overwhelmed and more lives lost when the protective coat of this new vaccine was within touch and distance for millions of people. But I want to ask about childcare. There will be more people back at work, especially as construction and manufacturing continues compared with the spring. But what advice has the First Minister got for working parents, those not of key workers, but for working parents? Um, what advice, what support is available and what childcare will be available for them? The availability of informal childcare and childminders is much more restricted um, than is necessary. So therefore, what advice would she give to those families to make sure that they have the appropriate childcare? Well, can I firstly agree that there is a price uh, in all sorts of respects that will be paid possibly for, definitely for some time to come for this pandemic in Scotland, the UK, Europe and in the world. But there will be a much bigger price to pay if we do not act to get this virus under control. And that is the central uh, driving imperative that uh, motivates the government uh, each and every single day. Um, on childcare, my advice to parents, firstly, I'm not going to insult the intelligence of any parent. This is a really difficult situation and nothing I can say standing here takes away the challenges that parents are confronted with right now. Uh, we will do everything we can to help in a range of different ways. The key worker provision uh, and the flexibility that we've left local authorities with there uh, is the first part of how we will do that. Uh, there is uh, the possibility, although it is more restricted, for informal childcare where there are no other alternatives. We will also, as I've said a couple of times in response to previous questions, work with businesses to make sure businesses are helping parents uh, who are amongst their workforces who have childcare responsibilities. And we will be looking in very short order, uh, including with additional resources, what further practical support, uh, including financial support, we can provide uh, to those who need it. So this will be a package of support, but I don't want to stand here um, and suggest that that takes away every uh, difficulty that working parents will face over this next very difficult period, which is why the most important thing we can do, and this is a job for government, but a job for all of us, is to get this virus under control. So this period of schools and early years education not operating normally is as short as we can possibly make it. Willie Rennie. I certainly agree with the First Minister with regards to that. Um, we know that the threat of the, the virus increases with the age of the individual. So is the First Minister considering the reopening of nurseries and primary schools at an earlier stage than secondary schools after February. And can I ask about the islands as well? I see that they are remaining in level three, but their schools are to close. What is the justification for that? Many of the islands don't have adequate broadband and will find remote learning quite difficult. So what provisions are going to be made available to them and what is the justification for the decision? First Minister. Um, in terms of the justification for the decision, it is about the uncertainty about the impact of transmission on young people and therefore if schools were to remain open in these areas, if that was a bigger impact than has been the case before, that may jeopardise the overall stability of these areas in terms of uh, the, the levels of the virus. So it is a cautious and precautionary uh, decision. Uh, we have decided to leave the island communities in level three. We looked very carefully at Shetland because Shetland's had a high number of cases in recent days, but the indications yesterday and today are that that is stabilising. Uh, but of course, we'll be monitoring that uh, very carefully indeed. And I absolutely take the point about the uh, even uh, the, the, the greater accessibility issues around digital and broadband. And we'll uh, discuss what more we can do to, to assist with uh, not just island, but remote communities in that respect as well. Um, in response to Willie Rennie's first point, yes, we will consider. I deliberately uh, made the point in my statement that when it comes to getting schools back, it will not be necessarily a binary open or closed. Uh, if we can get some pupils back ahead of all pupils, that's what we will do. Obviously, one of the things we will be looking at is whether primary schools could come back even before we felt it uh, safe to bring secondary schools back if we feel it is not safe by the time we get to that review point on the 18th of January. So all of these things will be very much under consideration. We want as many children, we want all children to be in school as normal, uh, as quickly as possible. But short of that, we want as many to get back as quickly as possible. 